Hello, today we are going to talk about how to connect your laptop to the Microsoft wireless display. This specific video are for users that are running Windows 8.1, which uh, most of the staff at Indiana Donor Network have. If you got any questions about what type of laptop you have or what operating system, just come ask one of us in the IT department. So, if you've got your laptop with you, uh, first off we want to connect to the room, which we've already covered in a previous video where we've clicked on the connect to Microsoft display and you should see on the screen Microsoft resource room 105 or whichever room you're connecting to. So the first step you want to do to connect to this display is to go to your laptop and since you've got touch screens you want to take your finger and you want to move it to the edge of the screen and swipe it to the right just like that. Now when I did that, you're going to see several icons that show up. You see search, share, start, devices, and settings. We want to click on devices. Now you're going to, have, you're going to see some additional choices. You're going to see play, print, or project. We want to choose project, like so. Now it says to project, connect to a display, or add a wireless display. Since we've not connected to this room yet, we're not going to see any choices. So we want to go ahead and choose add a wireless display. Now a brief wizard will pop up on your screen and it'll say searching for devices. And you're going to see the nearest available uh, wireless displays. In this case, you're going to see 104, 105, and another user. We want to click on room 105, which is the room we're in right now. Then it says connecting to resource room 105, follow any instructions you see on your screen. Now once you're done doing that, you're pretty much done. And then when you look up here, you're going to see your screen has been mirrored. So what you see on your laptop screen is the same thing that you see right here. Now to finish up, just take your finger to the top of the screen here and swipe down and that'll actually uh, turn off that uh, window that you see. And now we have connected to the screen. And right now it is mirrored. Now to disconnect from the screen is quite easy. You just go ahead and go to your Windows, uh, your keyboard here, and you want to hit the Windows key and the P button at the same time. So we're going to click on Windows and P. And when that happens, you're going to see a little menu pop up on the right hand side. We want to take our up arrow key or with our finger and hit disconnect. We've now disconnected our screen from the laptop, I mean from the wireless display. Now to repeat this procedure is really easy to do. You do the same thing, take your finger to the right and then you click on devices right here. Next you want to hit project. Now, since we've already installed the TV in here, it's going to show up in our list, Resource Room 105. So the next time you come into this resource room, it'll automatically be here. Any new room that you connect to, you're going to have to initially set it up, and then it'll be available in this list. So to connect to this TV, we just click on Resource Room 105, so like that. And then if you look up to the top, it's going to show it's connecting our laptop. And bam, here we go. We are now connected and mirroring our laptop screen. Now another feature you can do as well besides mirroring your screen where when you mirror it it's identically the same on both your laptop and on the screen right here. As you can see I move the mouse around. You can also extend your screen uh, and treat this like a second monitor. To do that we go back to Windows or the Windows key right here and the P button. So we're going to click on Windows and P and then from our uh, choices here we're going to choose the option of extend like that. And I'm going to click on extend. And now we have two monitors that are different. So if I open up a screen on here, you're going to see a web browser show up. But if you go over here, it's not there. To move this to the other screen, you want to drag it. Now we may have to adjust the screen, so we'll check here and see. Um, to test out which way your mice go, move your mouse to the left and then see if it goes on to the next screen. Right now it's not going to the next screen. It's, it's stopping. So what we have to do is we need to change the screen orientation. Now if I was sitting on the opposite side of this desk, it would work just fine. 
Um, I'm going to move around here. And now, if I move to the right, I'm, it's going to show up on the screen right here. You can see the mouse moving around. To change that setting, you want to go to, you want to minimize your screen, or the window that's currently open. And then you want to right click anywhere in the, on the desktop area, and you want to choose screen resolution. And now what you do is you take your mouse and you click on the first monitor and you move it over to this way, to the right side of the other monitor and release. And then once you're done, just scroll down and then hit apply. And then hit OK. And then you will be able to move your mouse to the other side, to the left hand side, and it'll then show up on the screen over here. So, to move any kind of windows you have open, or any kind of, if you want to make a presentation, you basically just click on the window here, and then you would left click and hold, and you're gonna drag it to this screen right here, and release. And if you want to maximize it, just click on the little maximize button, and it'll maximize it. And then if you want to close it out, you can close it out. So that is how you use your uh, laptop for dual screens and to use it with a Microsoft wireless display. And again, when you're finished, just hit the Windows key right here and the P button right here. And then you're gonna see this menu come up. Just click on Disconnect. And then you've disconnected and you're all set. You can shut it down and you're ready for someone else to use this room. Again, if you guys have any questions with how this works or have any problems, come see Ken or I and we'll be more than happy to help you out. Thanks a lot.